today I have to take Penny, the dog, to get her nails trimmed at the pet store around the corner from here. So I'm just going to do some makeup really quick. And guys, if you don't have this, what are you doing with your life? I don't know, but you're not doing the right things. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, she loves car rides now. She used to didn't like car rides, but now she does like car rides. So, I'm going to go take her to get her nails clipped. And then, um, my son Aaron, he had a, a soccer-like information night last night. And we found out we had to pay $50 for him to play. And then we have to pay, um... We had to pay a this story what kind of fee, was it? Uh, uh, oh, physical. I have to take him to get a physical. So I called our doctor's office to see if they could get him in. And the earliest they have for him to come in was uh, September 13th. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to pay for it out of pocket. And guess how much it is out of pocket, guys? Freaking 60 seven dollars at the cvs mini clinic so gotta do that i'm take, gonna take him either today or tomorrow to the minute clinic because of course they start soccer monday and and we don't have anything done i didn't get physical done i didn't know he would need one um because he's never needed it before but since he's playing through the school district this time he has to have one so we're gonna go do that today hopefully i'll take you with me to do that and i'll take you with me to do penny's appointment and then um yeah let's go so i'm gonna go on with the lip bar um i'm 503 um, so you just press it and it'll put the ooh, the um, foundation on the brush already. And then I just go around my hairline, go around my eyes. Because my face in the summer ends up being like a ton of different colors. <laughs> it's never like just one nice color. It's several colors so i have to use a mixture of product to get the right color on my face uh, because usually when i used to like go out and stuff um i used to have really like dark skin for the summertime and um because you know we're out in the sun a lot and generally just as a black woman we just get darker in the summertime you know white people love to tan we get golden baked in the sun but most of us don't burn i i love my skin color i love 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 getting darker it is like one of my favorite things about like my culture is you know being black you get dark and i think the darker the better like when i was in high school and i used to like run track and stuff and we were outside all the time <laughs> i was so dark but I mean, I was still, like, beautiful, obviously. Didn't nobody have shit on me in high school. I was gorgeous. Seriously, it was seriously super gorgeous back in high school. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I kind of got less beautiful over time, but, you know, we don't have to talk about those things. It's not nice. I need a brush. So, my makeup routine is pretty scattered. I don't really have, like, I don't have, like, what do you call it, like, a routine or a pattern. kind of just do what the fuck I want to do to my face and see how it turns out. If I don't like it, then I'll change it. If I do like it, then 
that's how I go about my day. So I'm going to go in with some finishing powder bronzer um, to set my foundation because I'm not trying to go all out. This isn't like a gl live glam day or, or I'm going out to like, I don't know, party or anything. I'm not doing any of that. Like I'm literally taking my son to get a physical and taking my dog to get her nails clipped. That's literally all I'm doing today. But I don't like leaving my house without my face on. Um, I don't like leaving my face on like early morning. Oh, I won't put it on. Take him to school because it's way too early. It's like 7 a.m. or 7.30 we leave here. So I don't do my makeup before I take him out. But I will do it if I'm going to be out like in the afternoon. So I'm just going to use this finishing powder here. This is from the lip bar as well, finishing powder. If you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is pick you guys up for a little bit. So I have to get my hair out of my face and I just go over it because sometimes foundations make my face look really ashy. And if you're black, you know ashy. We don't like to be ashy. So I like the finishing powder a lot because I can make sure that I'm, my face is even and I don't look ashy at the same time. I did my mascara prior, I'm not doing lashes. I don't need to do lashes right now. Yes, these are my naps, yes, it's a week. If you got something about it, something about it that you don't like, you can um, move along because <laughs> I don't give a fuck any, I don't care. If you don't like the way I look, then you can click off and, you know, go on about your lovely day because you're not going to ruin mine. <laughs> Isn't that crazy how that works? Because people love to have mean comments about yourself. Ah! Move it. Move it, sir. Okay, so then I have this Back to Black Baked Mineral ba Baked Bronzer. I'm going to try it out. I'm not sure if I, li if I like it yet. I've never used it. It's brand new. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. mineral big bronzer. You better come one, ma'am. You better make me look like a Nubian princess. You better. Yes. Move! Oh my God. He always wants to come in here when I'm doing something. When I'm not sitting here doing anything, he's nowhere to be found. I come do a video, here he comes wanting to step over all my stuff. Like, if this cat don't go somewhere, he's going to make me have to hurt him. Just kidding, guys. So take it seriously. I don't abuse my animals. They are my emotional support animals. I don't abuse them. I promise. I do not abuse my animals. I'm not going to kill him for stepping over my makeup. I promise. Y'all, that mineral bronzer is lit. Look at this. Do you see how awesome it is? Can you tell? Oh my God, it's beautiful. I love it. Do you guys love it? No? Okay. Moving on. So... I'm not like other girls. I don't like a lot of things on my face. I know that sounds really, really bad or really gross, but I just, I really don't like a lot of product on my face. <laughs> it's just kind of like a thing of mine that I just can't move past. I don't know why, I just can't, can't. I don't like to put lots of product everywhere. It just, to me, it seems overdone to me because I just, my mom always taught me that makeup is supposed to enhance your features 
not change the way you look completely. So, and that's just kind of what I've always done and lived by. Like, I just need to, you know, keep my beauty and not go overboard with it. You know what I mean? Because then people don't really know how beautiful you really are if you're always, you know, changing the way you look. And I'm not, there's nothing wrong with people that want to do it that way. You know, you do your makeup how you want to do your makeup. I'll do my makeup how I want to do my makeup. But I just don't feel like it's necessary to put all that on your face because then, you know, you could break out and then you have to figure out what is making you break out and why. And I just... I like to stick to my basics. I do a foundation powder, bronzer. I do a liquid foundation, then a powder foundation, a mineral bronzer. I do a little bit of blush and a little bit of um, highlight. And then, you know, if I wear a lip, I'll put a lippy on. If I don't want to wear a lip, I'll just do a gloss and then I'm on my way. And then I just do my eyes, whatever color I want to do my eyes. I did get this new eyeshadow palette from the lip bar. So it's got some really nice earthy tones, some um, just dark, darker colors, um, which I love to do. Like if I do a, um, what do you call it? Like a uh, shadow eye. This is also from the lip bar. I do have an affiliation with them. So if you go to thelipbar.com, use my code CRONYQUEENAB and you will get your discount um, off of products. So it's specifically made by um, Black Owned Business. It's vegan product, they're all vegan. And they are wonderful pigmented product, it's so good. Also, I have the Just Tint, so I usually would use this as a concealer. I'll use it under my eyes and on my little bumps and stuff that I have. And um, I'll just, you know, do it like this. So I use this. This is also the lip bar. If you want to try that out again, use my code. And then um, I, the rest of my stuff that I use is literally just stuff that I've gotten over the years that I've liked and that I like to use often. So um, this is the blush I like to use, L'Oreal um, True Match Super Blendable. So either I'll use this one or I'll use um, an old one. My mom got this blush for me like, stop it, years ago. She's trying to bite her crate over here. She got this for me years ago for Christmas. It's Stephen Laurent. And I love this blush. I love it, love it, love it. And it is like one of my favorite blushes that I, I use all the time. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use a little bit today. But uh, I've been saving up, saving on it because with the mask on you can't really tell but i'll just do a little bit and i'll show you guys how it looks with just a little bit of blush i may be chunky but a bitch is true okay you better recognize okay so this is the steven laurent brush blush brush dumbass see beautiful right beautiful and sparkly and gorgeous so i just do a little bit tap 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 on my bl blush brush and i will just go around my cheekbones a little bit to my hairline and just give me that nice rosy look and then I'll go a little bit like towards the crease of my nose a little bit. And so when I put my mask on, a lot of this rubs off, which sucks. And so then I like to use this Clinique um, highlighter. Stop it! No more! Stop it! Biting this crate apart. Mm. Um, I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to use this one because it's sticky, but I like this, um, skin blush. It's certified vegan. It's gluten-free, cruelty-free, no matter what. So this is, I don't even know the name of it anymore. Uh, it's K-A-L-E-I-D-O. 
Cosmetics. There's another cute little one my mom got me. And I love this color. So what I usually do with this, I'll use the same brush as my, my blush because I want to. And I can do that because that's my business. And the wonderful, wonderful words of Tabitha Brown. So for highlighter, I'll do a streak um, right by my eye. So I'll swipe all the way to the corner of my face. So I'll take it all the way up. And I do a line down my nose. His mother thinks she knows of a potential. A nice. Can you tell me personally? A nice one down my nose. And then I'll do a little bit. Down here. Uh huh. And then I do it the next. My cheek on the other side again. Streak all the way to the hairline. But not. I mean, I have to live. So that didn't make sense that they thought that he was going to give her everything. A second year passes without any sign of Eric. And then I just do a little in January 2000, cleaning up. The Michigan State Police take over and bring new resources to the case. The Buena Vista Township Police Department did an excellent job investigating this case. It's just, a, it's a nobody case. We, we cannot find Eric. And, and that is yeah. a hard case for any investigation. But when a new location is finally searched, and that is the highlight portion. So now that we've done highlight, my mascara has dried. I like to use um, this Auburn Ulta Beauty brow tint. I don't like to draw on fake eyebrows. Don't come at me. You do your thick eyebrows, take them high, take them low, take them thin, take them non-existent, invisible. That's fine. Do you, please. I don't like that. I like to just embellish mine a little bit. I like more of a redder tone because um, it, I like it better than just jet black or brown. Um, but I do have brown as well. Sometimes I'll do a mixture, like I'll just do a little bit of the uh, brown first and then I'll add a little bit auburn on top. So this is nice. This one I think I'm almost out of. I think this one is the empty one. Excuse me. You, you wanna try that one? Yeah. So, I just brush, brush, brush a little bit on. Banana. 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 Sonic banana pudding shake. B A N A N A. It is. We'll have to check it out. As in cheerleading, and we used to go to cheerleading camp in high school. And we used to sing the banana song. And if you won the banana, you were like best school spirit or something like that. And we'd be like, we want the banana. B A N A N A S. We want the banana. B A N A N A. I want one. I mean, whatever. It was like that, so it was fine. For adults with relapsing or primary progressive forms of multiple sclerosis, proven effective in reducing relapses in RMS and slow progression in RMS and PPMS. Don't take Ocrevus if you've had a life-threatening allergic reaction to it or have hepatitis. So I asked my gynecologist you've had as it could come back if um she could write fusion reactions. And some may require a prescription, not a prescription, but a recommendation for me to get my boobs done. I want them. I want them um, augmented. And I want them decreased. Whatever that's called. So see, I like to do just a basic brow. I don't like all the extraness. If you like it, do you boo? I'm not I'm not coming for you. I'm not. I'm not. Do what you have to do for yourself. Don't do it for me, honey. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a shit about what you look like. If you wanna look beautiful and you feel beautiful, 
that is your business and your business alone. It's not my business. So I'm not going to say nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? You have to feel beautiful in your own skin. You have to know what you like. You have to know how you want your body and your face to look. And only you're the, you and you alone are the only one who can decide that. Nobody else should have to decide that for you. You're beautiful the way you are. If you want to make yourself, you know, better, then do that. If you're fine with yourself, how you how you are, then be that way. Nobody should tell you how to do you. Nobody. I don't know where this cap is, so I'm gonna put it over here and leave it like that. And my new makeup thing I got to organize myself. Find your rhythm, your happy place. Cause she's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. I have to take her by 11. 30. It's also early release day at my son's school, so they get out at 2:50 today instead of. I mean, they get out at 1:50 today instead of 2:50. So, bro, if I went to pick him up at 2:50, how pissed do you think he would be? So, I like this aphrodisiac palette by Urban Decay. Uh, Ulta. I'm an Ulta fanatic. I have a problem with shopping with Ulta. No offense, but it's cheaper. It's cheaper than Sephora. I'm sorry, but I'm a single mom on a budget, and when I just want to look beautiful, I shop at Ulta. If you want to make fun of me, that's fine. I don't care. Totally fine with me. So I like to do crease, my inside crease is a different color than my actual eyeshadow, so I usually would just do like a, a block of a different, the corner that I do my um, eyeshadow in, so I usually would just do an inside corner like that. And then I'll go back in. Sorry, let me hit the next. I'll go back in with um, a different color. So I'll use this brush. I think I got these brushes from Amazon. I don't know what they're called, but they do say what they're for. This says eyeshadow brush because i never know like when i get br new brushes and i'm like what the fuck does this brush do i have no idea because i'm not a professional makeup artist i'm a makeup artist for myself with the cold michigan ground now thawed state police are finally able okay now i'm using addict from the same aphrodisiac palette by the mother of eric's daughter kendra and her they had one of our cadaver dogs come out and do a search at the airport road home where John and Kendra were living at the time that Eric went missing. He may have been killed or buried upon that property. Okay, the guys, dog did not don't laugh at me. And the search didn't yield but any results. I just it's learned dead end for investigators. from, like, YouTube videos and, like, just, like, life, like, just being an adult. Just saying that the cadaver dog did not find him on that. That you can get back in Ohio to America Canada to hope for from Michigan. Then, what the hell? I thought maybe you could get there like you have to go like by like we discovered I don't know Wisconsin or Utah or something like that to get to Canada. Who knew the Canadian border is literally right like in Michigan, like. Crazy. Joanne also learned. I never knew that. His mother Kendra was diagnosed with the exact same cancer. I don't know. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you guys that, but I felt really grown up when I found that out watching YouTube videos. Joanne and her sister. I was watching um Kiara Sheard and her she and her husband went out to eat somewhere downtown where they live, and he was like, "This." 
is Michigan. And then he pointed to the other side and you can see the city lights of Canada. And he's like, there's Canada. And I'm like, what? That's Canada? Like, it's literally like three and a half hours. Well, to get to Mich that part of Michigan, from my from where I am in Northeast Ohio, it's like three and a half hour drive. So you can probably get to Canada in like five hours. She was very nice to me, very soft. So she said I'm with my boyfriend right now. There's that story, so it was dumb, wasn't it? She said, I've got your number. Anyway. Okay, and then I just do a little background shadow with a darker with a darker brown. Just do the top of my lid towards my eyebrow. This is and then I'm done. Most if you would never try I like to spray. I got that message. I thought, okay, Afterwards. I'll so we went home. Joanne heads back to Ohio with a heavy heart and no new information about her missing son. In September 2016, she receives crushing news. Kendra has passed away from cancer. Mm -hmm. That's pretty well made me almost sick to my stomach to think that I hated that this woman died. She died with an awful lot of information in her mind that the police could have gotten, that they could have talked to her more, that they could have questioned her and say, what did you mean by that? And why did you tell this story to this one and that story to that one? Kendra may have been the last person to see Eric and his family believes the best hope they had for answers now, she's gone forever. Joanne texts Emily her condolences, but receives no reply. She says she's never heard from her granddaughter since. The list of people that knew Eric up here dwindled. So, somebody's got to come up with some answers soon, or this will be a mystery decades from now. Whatever happened to your friend? The case is still with the Michigan State Police, who have very little to go on. Eric and his tan 2001 Chevy Malibu haven't been seen since March 2011. The biggest problem is that we don't have a body. The second biggest problem is we don't have a car. And it's, it's a completely circumstantial case. We don't have any physical evidence to say that Eric's not still with us today. But what we do have is a lot of inconsistent statements and a lot of things that just don't make sense. To this day, Joanne, Deborah, and the rest of his friends and family continue to hang flyers. And that's it. That's all I do. And, attend the and I clean my brushes off usually. I wipe them down with like a Kleenex or something because I don't want to see them. Colors, not like using the same brushes and stuff like that. So I do that, and then I will use my spray. I'll do a finishing spray. We showed a Mary's picture. They had never seen him. I'm a part of a family now that I never wanted to be a part of. It's a family of missing people. Oh, so refreshing. I love it. And that's it, guys. I am going to brush my hair and get ready to take puppy. Because she's got to go outside and go potty. And we got to get ready to go. Guilty too. Guilty too. And this is me. I'm all done. Puppy's right there, getting ready to go. So I'll do another vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a wonderful Friday, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Yay.